Okay, we're setting up the uh, six place industrial manifold. I've paired everything and I'll just quickly run through how we, how we set it up. I've got various filtration setups here, four different types, different brands. Um, so starting with the, the manifold itself, starting from the left, I'll just work through to the right. So we've got row code HV1278, uh, six place stainless steel individual tap on each, on each outlet or inlet, depending on how you look at it. It's just, these haven't been opened as yet. Let me just loosen them up. Okay, so we've got a, uh, I measured these earlier, there's seven millimeter uh, barbed fittings on here. So let me just hook up these uh, tubing. So the tubing I'm using here for the six mil, this tubing here is PT2800, and that's a six mil ID tubing. So let me just pop these on here. Okay, so the first filtration setup we've got here is the um, filter biosides part number FV0001. And I've got membranes here, oh, this, this just comes off like so. I'll pop a membrane on here. This is a 47mm. 47mm. Membrane, pop that on there with the forceps. Okay, so that's good to go. So, as I said, I've got the PT2800 tube in here, which is 6mm ID, and the neck size here is 10mm. So, I've got PT2900 tubing there, uh, which is 10mm ID, and I've had to go through a connector here, which is Row code PC2620. Okay, now next to that we've got the Tarsons PF1202, uh, PF1202. That just screws apart like so. Membrane just sits, sits on there. screws back into place. Now this has a this is the PT2800 tubing so that is a 6mm OD fitting there and it actually also comes with this piece here which I've had to use because I've run out of these connectors here. So that comes standard with the PF1202 and that actually just screws on screws on here well pushes on there to allow different diameters of tubing. So I'll just pop him back here Now next on the line we have the Simax 1 litre filter flask, which is our code GF3310. And again, that's got a 10mm side arm, so I've connected that to the PT2900 tubing through a connector through the PT2800 tubing to the, to the manifold. Now this isn't ideal. This uh, stopper number eight, a size eight stopper, I tried getting that off. Phil, do you know if, if these come off? It'll fit into a five hundred mil filter flask, but not one liter. Right. Okay. So most people set up with a with a gooch. Yeah. As a, a one liter, you use a gooch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the flask is GF thirty three ten, and the gooch rubber I've got on there is an HS two two four four six. Membrane on there. 
I think this is just a 0.45 micron membrane. And lastly, we've got the same setup but with a different top half. So we've got the, the GF3310, the HS 2246 Gooch seal. And on top we have the Kimball uh, filter holder, which is our code GF1154. I will pop a membrane on top. And then we will fire it up. vacuum bottle here which is our part number so this is a four litre uh, similar to an LG uh, vacuum bottle so that is our code PB0287 so it comes standard with this cap this cap with the ports on top is actually sold separately and that, that's our code PC0189 that allows for the, the tubing to be connected. So, functions this as a water trap. Exactly, functioning as a water trap. So, when we turn this on, um, all the fluid will be collected in these flasks, and anything that happens to make its way, we're, we're trying to prevent water getting into the pump. Any water getting in there, and it will destroy the pump. So, the Rocket 400 actually has, I don't know if you can see that, has an inbuilt little water trap there. But to be on the safe side, and depending on the application, people may want to collect in the, uh, the vacuum bottle. So that's where, where this comes in handy. So we've got the two ports on top, and this is PT2800 tubing again, so that's like a six or seven mil uh, barb fitting on there. So running down, we've got another safety mechanism. This is the 50 mil ID uh, filter. Similar to a syringe filter, we've got a PTFE 0.45 micron membrane in there, so that, that allows um, air to pass through but not liquid. So if any liquid should make it out of the bottle, it will be stopped there, preventing it from damaging the pump. So I think we're ready to turn it on and um, demonstrate it in action. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, I'll turn the, uh, actually, I'll, I'll turn the pump on for this. Pop the water sample in there. Another minute H. Now we control the vacuum on these valves here. So let's turn them all on. So the vacuum is pulling the solution through, through the membrane. It's done, done, done. And done. Turn the pump off. So all the liquids passed through and been collected in the in the flasks. Uh, the PF1202, that's autoclavable. Polysulfone type plastic. Obviously, these these glass flasks can be autoclaved. The whole top section can be autoclaved. Uh, okay, so this was the industrial uh, filtration setup. Uh, next, I'll be demonstrating the micro type setup, the different style of manifold. So this industrial setup would be used for. Different applications, say suspended solids or gravimetric precipitate, precipitate type analysis. Uh, and next, I'll show you the microbiology setup. Thank you. Okay, so here is the microbiology specific filtration setup. Uh, 
Now it differs to the industrial one that I just demonstrated in that the filtrate that is collected is collected in the one uh, vacuum bottle. As opposed to the industrial had the separate flasks collecting each filtrate from each line, whereas in this manifold system set up, all the filtrate is collected together. So typically be used in a microbiology lab where you're not interested in the filtrate, you're just interested in the bacteria that you're collecting on the membrane. So I'll just load these, um, actually I'll give you the part numbers first. The part number for the manifold is FM0039 and we've got a 10 mil barbed fitting there, so you'd need 10 mil ID tubing, so this is the PT2900. Uh, through the, uh, the connector, the PC2620, and the PT2800 tubing, which is the 6mm ID, onto the, uh, the top of the, the vacuum bottle. And that lid, of course, part number PC0189. Uh, now we've got a couple of different designs of uh, filter holder. So this is a 300 milliliter capacity magnetic filter holder. That's the Pole brand. And our part number uh, PF2701. And Grabby, this is called a grabby seal, held in place by gravity alone, so it's a fairly thick no filter um, the funnel. So there's no, no gasket, nothing required there. Um, just the, the sheer weight pushing down is enough to ensure that there's a, uh, no spillage. And that's our part number PF1180. So let me load up with uh, a few membranes and we'll, we'll run some water through, so that's the magnet holding that together. So these are all stocked in our Perth warehouse. I should be wearing sterile latex gloves for this. Okay, I'll turn on the uh, the pump, the IP2034. Now, similar control to the, the industrial type manifold, these are individually controlled. So this, I'll just pour some water through these. See the filtrate being collected in the vacuum bottle. Just turn these off. Turn the pump off. So as you can see in this type of setup, it's it's probably what well, it is a great idea having this uh, this uh, syringe filter, the 50 mil inline filter preventing water getting into the pump uh, as all the filtrate is collected here. I'll open this up. An idea of release that pressure. So the liquid comes in from the left and that tube goes all the way to the bottom and the air vacuum is applied to this shorter hose so you don't want any liquid coming through here. And in your typical setup in a micro lab you'd, uh, you'd filter your sample through, you grab your 47 mil membrane and you pop that on an agar plate for, for incubation looking for bacteria.